Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and let's continue investigating economy efficiency mechanics in Age of Empires 4. This time, we'll look at whether or not we should be building additional mining camps, and if so, at what time is it most efficient. Let's dive right in. If you've watched the Lumber Camp Refresh video, you'll know that Lumber Camp Refreshes have a very significant impact on gather speeds, and you should keep a close eye out on your wood lines. That said, mining efficiency stays roughly the same because the distance between the resource and its drop-off point doesn't change. So, this video should be simpler on paper, but it has some additional mechanics we need to be wary of. Also, don't worry as I will be covering when to research mining technologies on a separate video as well, so be sure to be subscribed to not miss out on that one. First of all, let's begin with the fundamental mining mechanics. In Age of Empires 4, both gold and stone have the same gather rates, the same technologies that affect said gather rates, and the same size for their both small and large variants. The only difference between the two is that the small gold vein has 4000 gold, whereas the small stone outcropping has 1500 stone, and the large gold vein has 8000 gold, whereas the large stone outcropping has 3000 stone. But apart from the amount of resources per vein, everything else is the same. Hence, even though I'll do the tests on the gold veins only, everything applies identically to the stone outcroppings as well, so keep that in mind. Furthermore, there's also an additional villager behavior you need to look out for that I realized during testing. Large gold veins or stone outcroppings are 4 tiles by 4 tiles large, so centering a 2x2 mining camp on any angle is no problem. This also practically means that villagers will more or less stay on that side to minimize inefficient walk time. However, this is not the case with the smaller veins. Smaller veins are only 3 tiles by 3 tiles large, which means that the mining camp you place will have to lean slightly to the left or to the right from the center of the vein, regardless of which side you pick. Now, this has no impact whatsoever in small numbers, so if you have 5 miners, you don't have to really worry about this. However, once you have 10 or more miners on a small gold vein or stone outcropping, they'll slowly move further and further away from the center and lean heavier to whichever side the off-center bias was on. This does have an impact on gather rates of course, and maybe a future patch might address this, but for now, I will take this mechanic into consideration when building the second mining camp. After all, this video is about whether or not avoiding the additional walk time is worth the investment for the second mining camp. And finally, just in case you're curious, a maximum of 36 villagers can gather from a small gold vein at a given time, and a whopping 52 villagers at a time from a large one. That said, these two theoretical highs should almost always never be achieved in a normal game though, as if you have 52 villagers gathering gold from one vein at a time, you're probably doing something wrong. Alright, with those fundamental mechanics out of the way, we can now begin the tests. Let's begin with 5 villagers as usual and work our way up to 20. In 5 minutes and with no upgrades whatsoever, 5 villagers can gather 950 gold, 10 villagers can gather around 1800, 15 can gather around 2600, and 20 villagers can gather roughly 3300 gold from a small gold vein. Hence, a single villager's gold or stone gather rate can hover around roughly 38 resources per minute when really efficient, and decrease to roughly 30 resources per minute when there's a lot of walking and bumping. Obviously, I'm not going to test the second mining camp on only 5 villagers as it will have zero impact, so let's see how much of an improvement in gather rates we can get 10 villagers onward. When we add a second mining camp and run the same test for 5 minutes, 10 villagers can gather 1870, 15 villagers can gather 2800, and 20 villagers can gather 3500 gold. Straight off the bat, we can immediately see that we only get an abysmal 60 additional gold after 5 whole minutes. This means that the cost of the mining camp alone is barely recouped after all that time. Hence, we can easily eliminate 10 villagers, as it's definitely not worth the investment. We do see some sizable improvement when we mine with 15 villagers or more though. The improvement hovers around roughly 35 to 50 gold per minute, which means that we can pay back our mining camp investment in about 1 to 2 minutes, which is great. Hence, if you build 2 mining camps when you have 15 to 20 miners on a small gold vein, then you can expect around 100 to 200 additional resources over the course of 5 minutes, with your investment paying back in a minute or two. Okay, this was just one scenario though. Wheelbarrow and Specialized Pick are two of the most likely technologies you'll pick up in most of your games. So, do they have any impact on the conclusion we've just reached? To start off with a baseline of only one mining camp and 5 minutes of mining time, 5 villagers can gather 1100 gold, 10 villagers can gather 2200 gold, 15 villagers can gather 3200, and 20 villagers can gather around 4000 gold when they have both wheelbarrow and specialized pick researched. When we do the same test with a second mining camp, 10 villagers gather 2200 gold which is laughable because that's only 30 more gold over the course of 5 whole minutes. 
15 villagers gather 3300 and 20 villagers gather 4300, which is 135 more gold than one mining camp for the former and 275 more gold for the latter. But hang on a second, this doesn't make much sense. Why are the gold improvements all over the place in which the improvements are better for the 10 and 15 villagers when they have no upgrades, but better for the 20 villagers when they have upgrades? When I looked at the footage closer, it's nothing more than villager behavior RNG. If your villagers path better, then you are lucky and you'll get slightly more gold and vice versa for bad pathing. Thankfully, the difference in the discrepancy isn't large enough to worry too much about, but this test does confirm one thing for sure. Upgrades don't really matter much when it comes to adding an additional mining camp. Wheelbarrow alone will for sure lower the inefficiency that comes with just one mining camp when you have 15 or more miners, but this doesn't change the fact that adding a second mining camp is still worth it in that scenario. Okay, let's do one final thing. What if we add a third mining camp when we have 20 miners, as they still do a lot of walking with two mining camps? Is it still worth it? Well, if you remember, 20 villagers with no upgrades gather 3,280 gold with one mining camp, 3,510 gold with two mining camps, and 3,670 with three mining camps. Hence, the improvement from one to two mining camps is an additional 230 gold over five minutes, and the improvement from two to three mining camps is another 160 gold over five minutes. So is it worth it? The simple answer is yes, but with a slightly longer payback time. That said, if you're already in a position where you're mining with 20 villagers, don't care about a measly 50 wood, and want to mine gold as quickly as possible, then for sure adding the third mining camp is worth it, because you won't really care much about the payback time of 50 wood at that point of the game. Heck, if for whatever reason you have 30 or more miners, then adding a fourth mining camp is also fine. In those very niche and extreme scenarios, the assumption is that wood no longer matters and you're desperate to extract as much gold as possible. So surrounding the gold vein on all four sides is fine from the perspective of maximizing gold or stone gather rates. Alright, let's recap what we've learned and summarize our findings as always with some general rules of thumb. Number 1. Making an additional mining camp only begins to make sense after you have 15 or more miners on one gold vein. The more villagers you have after 15, the more it is worth it for you to build a second one, as this means that you'll gather roughly 100 to 200 more resources with a payback time of around 1 to 2 minutes, assuming you mine with 15 to 20 villagers. If you exceed 20, then building a second mining camp is a no-brainer. Number 2. Although Wheelbarrow does mitigate some of the inefficiency that comes with just one mining camp, mining upgrades do not have a sizable impact on the decision to build additional mining camps. Hence, regardless of your upgrades on your villagers, adhere to rule number one and only consider additional mining camps after 15 villagers. Number three, since villagers slowly bias towards the off-center side the mining camp was built by the small gold vein, build the second mining camp to the outer edge of the initial bias. This way, you'll ensure that inefficiencies caused by villager behavior is minimized, although it's still not 100% foolproof and you may need to fix them occasionally. Larger gold veins and stone art croppings don't have this problem, as you can just center the mining camps on whichever side you want. Number 4. Since we don't really care much about the 50 wood we're investing at later stages of the game, building a third mining camp at 20 miners or even 4 mining camps at 30 miners is worth it to speed the extraction of gold or stone as quickly as possible. Once again, this is purely from a resource extraction maximizing viewpoint and doesn't take economy balance or safety into consideration, so keep that in mind. Well, that's all you need to know about building additional mining camps in Age of Empires 4. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will be investigating and making a standalone video about mining camp upgrades and when it is worth it to research them. If you'd like to watch more Age of Empires content, be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on any future videos. I've already fully covered both Lumber Camp Refreshing as well as Lumber Camp upgrades previously, so check those out if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching folks, be sure to build two mining camps if you have more than 15 miners on one vein, and see you all in the next one.